Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Raggedy Pack. The greatest TV show of all time is finally making its way to the channel. That is not up for debate, even though it is my number two for particular reasons. But mm -hmm. for early context, Corey and I have seen Game of Thrones. We are both very big fans. Corey has a Targaryen uh, chair, is it? Yeah. Okay, I assume he's showing it to the screen. <laughs> yeah. We just can't see it at the moment. Yeah, I was sitting a lean. Okay, uh, Corey has a Targaryen chair. I have a Stark banner that's like 16 feet long just hanging over my bed. I'm not going to try to show that, but point is we're very big fans. But the reason you are all here and the reason we're here is Igly has not seen Game of Thrones. Um, yeah, I, I have somehow managed to elude this show, uh, which is honestly, it's always been on my radar. Like I was always aware of it. I've always heard stuff about it, um, and but I've never actually sat down to watch it which is surprising because i like medieval fantasy so much next level degeneracy from you my friend yeah well that's like me here. never seeing stranger things except Game i haven't Thrones seen stranger, stranger things, things either oh well you so, just took a double l so you know what Sorry. it's a premonition i was waiting for the right moment to watch it with <laughs> the boys mm. oh of course um so, Igly, you're not going in totally blind. Mm -hmm. uh, he had mentioned that he has seen South Park spoilers. That's apparently a thing. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like Game of Thrones is very, uh, it has a very big presence in pop culture. So you see you like derivative references in other shows. And indirectly, I have seen some stuff due to that i've heard some i have heard some other things about the show that i won't mention at this moment in time mm -hmm. but i for the most part when it comes to like majority of these characters and from what i hear this show has a lot of characters mm -hmm. um i an so i i feel like i i'm pretty like i, I feel like i'm still like 98 percent blind well i feel like that's a good estimate um so, Igly's had some spoilers. Corey, have you rewatched Game of Thrones? I watched it twice. Uh, I watched it... I, I forget the original year I watched it. I want to say it was like, what, 2016 or 17? And then right before season 8 came out, I rewatched the first seven seasons again. Okay. Personally, I've rewatched Game of Thrones at least five times. Um, the only season I have not seen more than once. I'm just going to let everyone else assume what that season is. Uh, I'd actually sworn th that I would never, uh, watch that again, but here we are, you know, for the, for the sake of the channel, for the sake of Igly's viewership experience, um, we'll roll together, <laughs> but yeah, we're, um, we're all pretty big. Game of Thrones fans here. Kojo is even. Wyatt is even. I'd say the only person other than Igly that hasn't seen it is probably Matthew. But I can't even say that for sure. No, I feel like he this definitely is the kind has of not seen that it. He would avoid. Yeah. Uh, speaking of that, I have heard some stuff regarding the other Game of Thrones TV series, House of the Dragon, mm -hmm. which, if I recall, is supposedly a prequel. Focusing on one of the families mm -hmm. or houses, whatever you want to call them. I was actually talking with a coworker the other day. Um, can you watch the prequel? Like, can you, I mean, can you watch uh, House of the Dragon before this show? Or is it like, because it, uh, what, are your, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, that's a little bit like of a side topic, but I just want to hear. Corey, you got an opinion? I mean, I guess you could, right? Is yeah. there anything that would like, detract from the viewing experience if you watch house of the dragon first and then hop into game of thrones because you would like make the same connections between the two series you know yeah i would say the only reason i would say no at this current point in time is house of the dragon isn't finished okay yeah. so makes sense true. um because it still has two or three more seasons left uh loaded up coming soon hopefully i would say no um but when it's all said and done 
I would imagine that, yes, you can watch House of the Dragon before watching Game of Thrones because they do. They stand apart, but at the same time, it gives you more context of Westeros instead of what you're about to do. And that's going into Westeros completely blind and confused. Um, All right. I will say. And uh, for those of you watching this, probably at least half of you already know this. The first couple of seasons of Game of Thrones are really gruesome and they do uh, dive into some topics, um, rape, sexual assault, that kind of stuff in the first couple of seasons. There's a lot of nudity. Um, so if you're not aware of that, that is uh, to come. Might not make the YouTube cut, but it might make the full length cut. It'll definitely make the full length cut rather. But that is just a heads up for any of you watching that have not seen this. That is uh, to come. Um, is there anything else we need to discuss before getting into episode one? Maybe Igly's expectations. But other than that, Corey, can you think of anything else we need to chat about real quick? No, all I can say is that I love Game of Thrones and I'm looking forward to watching it again i think i'll remember all the uh major plot points but i don't have the best memories so like minor character names and uh little things that happen y you know they leave like little bread crumbs through the show and uh mm -hmm. neat little details i might notice on the third watch there especially because this will be my first time watching game of thrones with subtitles on which i hear mm -hmm. that completely changes the <laughs> viewing experience so i'm excited for that that's all i have to say uh let's hear igly's expectations why would subtitles affect the viewing experience so much is it like who's talking or something you will not remember anybody's name i'll just okay. tell you that right now all right so you they're gonna, having it name. be right in, in front right in front of me will help yes, out yes it'll help out right. a lot okay okay speaking of that you asked me for my predictions but it's kind of like i know some stuff so i can make predictions based i would off say what... expectations not predictions okay all right expectations i mean medieval fantasy um i'm expecting a lot of sword play i'm expecting the fantasy elements of like supernatural or like fantasy creatures uh dragons or some shit um i don't know there's a lot of characters but i'm wondering if we're gonna pretty much just follow we're like just one character most of the time or if it's gonna jump between perspectives from the different houses i've i've like have little knowledge of um besides that i i don't have any um really expectations for the show i mean heard it's great uh so i'm ready to actually sit down and see it and see if i actually like do you is the is the first episode a hook mm, like no. you think i'm gonna love it off this first episode or you think no. it's gonna build it's gonna be it's gonna have to build up it builds okay by the end of the, the first, first season, season you're hooked it's a hook yeah yeah okay all right there, there's uh, a story about how they had to rewrite the pilot and that it almost didn't make it out of pilot uh, okay because of how like boring it was so all right yeah good start <laughs> is that the final product <laughs> no okay no. All uh, right. i have one thing to add for your expectations uh okay george rr R. martin you know is the writer for I game of thrones to bring that up so yep. you're familiar with his world building from elden ring which is like the goat game so you know yeah. the world building and this is going to be amazing. That's what you yeah, should so expect. Like, <laughs> this is another side topic, but at least for like um, George R.R. R. Martin's uh, uh, contribution to Elden Ring, I think they pretty much like, if I, if I remember reading interviews correctly, they came to him with like the, the base premise. This is the current state of the world. Here are some figures write the backstory of how shit got so fucked up in the first place. Oh, so, so he wrote that, but he didn't finish the books. All right, <laughs> carry on. So it's his inclusion isn't so grandiose, like as you would think. Um, it's very just establishing some background. I don't think it's enough to cover si six novels. Is it six novels for the book series? Don't don't talk to me. I don't know. The I'm, books I'm are asking. a touchy topic. The books are a touchy topic. All right. All right. All right. 
is let's it, is just it say still the last written? one came out before I was born. Is it so still? <laughs> we're waiting on. It's still not done. No. What? Don't. He's busy writing Elden Ring backstory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they're getting him on the DLC right now. That's, That's not true. The last book came out, um, I want to say in 2011, but I'm being well. Dramatic. Then when, what about the how? Like, I'm assuming House of the Dragon is a separate book series. Is he writing yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's okay. So there's been some roadblocks. Let's just say he he likes to um, venture into different things. All right. Okay. Good. To, he, I mean, he can, he can kiss my butt. All right. All right. Um. Yeah, I had something that came to my head, but I might just. Oh, I was just going to say that um, I probably remember most of the things that happen in this. Um, that are go- that happen in this show, so like I'm not going to have necessarily the best reactions like Corey might to some stuff he forgot, but I'm really going to enjoy watching it with Igly because. Oh, for sure. Just enjoying that first experience again through him is going to be hilarious. And I all hope right, you well, all enjoy it too, because it's shit, it's a I ride. Hope I it's a ride. <laughs> um. All right. Well, that's all we have to discuss at this point before we get into episode one. Uh, lastly, I should say though, Igly is taking notes for the first time in Raggedy Pack history. That is his expectations for this show. <laughs> You're really ratting me notes. out like that. <laughs> um. But before we get into this reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss episode two. We will have four week early access on this available over on our Patreon account. That link will be in the description below. So be sure to check that out so you don't have to wait for the next four reactions. We have full length reactions also available over there. We have a free link to our Discord down below. We have links to our social medias, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, Instagram. Sorry, not Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Check those out. And yeah, let's get into episode one of Game of Thrones. Let's go. Right. I'm going to have so much nostalgia, dude. Same. <laughs> oh, Igly, the same. music in this show, dude. Good. S tier. Attack on Titan right. level. I'm pretty sure Kojo mentions that in the first episode of Attack on Titan. Really? It's like, oh, okay. it's just like Game of Thrones, bro. It's just like Game of Thrones, all right. It's really quiet. Yeah, I'm ominously quiet. Mm-hmm. Like something bad's gonna happen. Mm. Let the goosebumps begin, brother. Ooh. What is that? I don't know what happened there. Oh All my. right. Bodies. Naked bodies. A lot of them. Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? Oh. Is that a kid? It would appear so. Damn. Is what is that? What is that shape? It's like a circle with what a line expect? through it. They're savages. Is that Elden Ring? One lot steals a <laughs> goat from another lot. Before you know it, they're ripping each other to pieces. I've never seen wildlings do a thing like this. Wildings. I've never seen a thing like this, not every in my life. A fire? Your dead men seem to have moved camp. They were here. Wait, what? Strange. Yeah, some bad shit's about to happen. What's that? What is that? All right. I think he's dead. I don't know what the fuck that was. That had blue eyes. The kid. Oh my god. Creepy. <laughs> so like they like they're like zombies. They're like undead. So it's fast like. as fuck. What just happened? Oh, shit. <laughs> Can't even see his face, it's like a shadow. Okay, fade to black. 
All right. All right. Here's your little introduction Goated theme to Game of Thrones. <laughs> okay. Was that a scoff? Something like that. <laughs> Damn. Is this our same guy? He made it away? Maybe not. Said they're not very happy with him. From one danger to the next. Winterfell, okay. We skyrope up up here. Damn. <laughs> and which one of you was a marksman at 10? Yeah, it's a kid, bro. He Cut him some slack. Bran, okay, okay, okay. Go on. Write that down, write that down. Don't Bad at archery. <laughs> Relax your bow arm. Okay, he got- oh. Damn. Alright. The guardsman just rode in from the hills. They captured a deserter from the Night's Watch. Mm. Get the lads to settle their horses. Do you have to? Tell Bran he's coming too. Ten is too young to see such things. He won't be a boy forever. And winter is coming. What's that mean? Winter is coming. It's about to get cold. Could have been more <laughs> literal of a saying. Who's winter? <laughs> <laughs> Why is she looking at him like that? I don't know. White walkers. All right. So you know the name of the zombies now? Okay, okay, we're learning. I feel like they're not gonna believe him. I saw what I saw. I saw the White Walkers. If you can get word to my family, tell them I'm no coward. Tell them I'm sorry. It's a big sword. I know this guy's about to get beheaded, but the background is really pretty, right? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It's clean cut. Didn't even get his name. One less I have to write down. <laughs> you did well. Is it Trace or the White Walkers? The White Walkers have been gone for thousands of years. Well, shit, they're back. So he was lying. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> Pretty gross, yeah. Maggots, wow. Mountain lion? White walkers, perhaps? No mountain lions in these woods. There are no white walkers in these woods. <laughs> there are now. Is that a fucking bear? Close. Wolf? It's a freak. It's a dire wolf. Oh shit. You want to hold it? Yo. Please tell tell me he keeps that shit. Better a quick death. They won't last without their mother. Right. Give it here. No! Put away your blade. Take orders from your father. Do not, not kill you. the fucking Please wolf. <laughs> there are five pups. One for each of the Stark children. Oh, okay. The dire wolf is a sigil of your house. They were meant to have them. You'll train them yourselves. You'll feed them yourselves. And if they die, you'll bury them yourselves. That's what I'm talking about. We keep the wolves. Save the day. <laughs> Theon was like, yo. I'm not a Stark. Let me stab mm. this boy. Get him. He's not a Stark. What's he mean by that? What does he mean by that? Bastard child? What is it? Oh. oh, what the fuck? That one's yours. Albino? Okay, that one's special. King's Landing. Welcome. Fuck. King's Landing. Write that down, write that down. <laughs> the fucking Spongebob. You won't dude. have a problem remembering this. It do be a shithole. What is this? What is that throwing? It's... I've seen it before. Mm. 
What? <laughs> what are those eyes painted on rocks? Whatever John Aaron knew or didn't know, it died with him. And Robert will choose a new hand of the king, someone to do his job while he's up fucking balls and hunting whores. Is this a different John? Is it the other way around? Yeah. Okay. We'll I guess on. John's a common name. You should be the hand of the king. Yeah. <laughs> That's something I can do without. That day is too long. I'm looking for threads that are not there, <laughs> brother. Forgive short. me. That's a big ass sword. John Aaron is dead. A fever took him. Oh, okay. The guy. I know mm -hmm. he was like a father to you. With the rock eyes. <laughs> and that quality shave. <laughs> Why is your mother so dead set on us getting pretty for the king? Hey, the prince is a right royal prick. <laughs> Think of all those southern girls he gets to stab with his right royal prick. Oh my god. <laughs> Top tier dialogue. Go on, Tommy. Share him good. It's a crazy convoy. Yeah. Man's playing Assassin's Creed. But he can't shoot a bow. <laughs> I saw the king. He's got hundreds of people. How many times have I told you? No climbing. Or said ladders and stairs are too old fashioned. <laughs> Was that that girl familiar? Who shot the bow? Who shot yeah. the bow? Yeah. What's she doing? Okay, we got. What is that armor? The helmet, the wolf mask. Really cool. Yeah. Where's Arya? Sansa, where's your sister? Arya, okay. Write that down, write that down. <laughs> you guys see me looking down a lot. <laughs> what is that look she's giving him? It's the look. It's a look. It's a look. They got- uh, there's something going on. I forgot how deep the squad rolled in, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has fucking cool ass armor. You got fat. Shit, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back at you. <laughs> okay, they're friends, alright. Shows your muscles. That's what I'm talking You're about. Soldier. Swole. Take me to your crypt. I want to pay my respects. We've been riding for a month, my love. Surely the dead can wait. Real long journey. Ned. A month, yeah. I see him. <laughs> I mean, if it's like a month's journey, like... Where is our brother? There's got to be a good reason for coming out here. Beast. Right. Lord Eddard Stark. I would name you the Hand of the King. Seems like a big deal. I'm not worthy of the honor. Yeah. If your sister had lived, we'd have been bound by blood. Well, it's not too late. I have a son, you have a daughter. Hmm. Okay. We'll join our houses. I've used that meme before. Yeah. I have a son, you have a daughter? No, then we'll join our houses part. Uh, okay. Blur. Who's this guy? Could it be the imp? Ooh. It is true what they say about the northern gals. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear the kings in Winterfell? The queen has two brothers. There's the pretty one. <clears throat> and there's the clever one. Which one's here? Pretty one. I hear they call him <laughs> the imp. We've been expecting you, Lord Tyrion. Have you? Already? <laughs> <laughs> the gods gave me one blessing. What's that? <laughs> you want to know? <laughs> I, I want to know, yeah. Should I explain to you the meaning of a closed door in a whorehouse, brother? You have much to teach me, no doubt. But... Our sister craves your attention. She has our cravings, our sister. A family trait. Come on, girls. All right. God Let's damn. Go. It's a party now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the word See I'd use. <laughs> Close the door. Is he the piñata? <laughs> yeah. 
In my dreams, I kill him every night. Hmm. She was murdered? It's done, Your Grace. Targaryens are gone. Targaryens, okay. Daenerys! God! <laughs> what? Daenerys! This guy. Look, a gift from Illyria. Touch it. <laughs> Feel the fabric. We've been his guest for over a year and he's never asked us for anything. Well, Illyria's no fool. He knows I won't forget my friends when I come into my throne. You have a woman's body now. Okay, it's getting a little bit weird. Seeming like a good place to blur the screen. <laughs> <laughs> They're siblings, right? <laughs> Alright. You don't want to wake the dragon, do you? What do you mean by that? No. <laughs> what do you mean? So I'm guessing the throne he mentioned is like... The game, the, the game of Thrones chair, with all the swords and shit that we saw earlier. That would be a good, a solid guess. <laughs> Thanks. It's it's like it's like the only big chair we've seen. It's too hot, my lady. That's how I take my baths. <laughs> May I present my honored guests, Viserys of House Targaryen. Yes, yeah, that Aquaman. The third of his name. <laughs> is that King of the Andals and the First Men? I want to go home. So do I. We go home with an army. With Khal Drogo's army. I would let his whole tribe fuck you. Alright. Kind of kind of weird. Men and, their horses and the horses. Hella weird. It took. Do you think Joffrey will like me? What if he thinks I'm ugly? Joffrey. Then he is the stupidest prince that ever lived. Alright. Stupid. <laughs> Is he dead yet? My man's on the grind. <laughs> Find you at the feast. Lady Stark thought it might insult the royal family to see the bastard in their midst. Mm. Well, you're always welcome on the wall. I've always wanted to see the wall. You're Tyrion Lannister. And you, you're Ned Stark's bastard, aren't you? Lord Edith Stark is my father. And Lady Stark is not your mother. Making you a bastard. You really love saying bastard. Let me give you yeah. some advice, bastard. Never forget what you are. The rest of the world will not wear it like armor. And it can never be used to hurt you. Speaking from experience. What the hell do you know about being a bastard? Hmm. All dwarves are bastards in their father's eyes. Winter is coming. They keep saying that. They do keep saying that. What does it mean? It's literal, bro. I don't know why, but he just looks like a little shit. <laughs> I hear we might be neighbors soon. I don't fight in tournaments. I just want to fight a man for real. I don't want him to know what I can do. Damn, okay. Well Who is this guy? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. What do you mean, who is this guy? The guy Ned was talking to. <laughs> That's the Queen's brother. Oh, okay. I was like, give me a break, bro. A lot of it's characters a lot in the show. I, I mean, that's one of the top, like, five most important. It's like the second time I've seen him. <laughs> a rider in the night from your sister. Can you imagine putting out all those candles at night, bro? <laughs> Crazy. It's a scent from the Eerie. What's she doing at the Eerie? Could you imagine lighting all those candles in the back there at since night? Wedding. <laughs> what news? Okay. She's fled the capital. Hmm. She says John Aaron was murdered. Okay. By the Lannisters. She says the king is in danger. Fellow plot, Bruin. She doesn't know what she's saying. What are they doing with those snakes? Oh, a gift? Doesn't really look appetizing. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, one titty out? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. Getting wild in here. 
Yeah, you could say that. Someone's gonna die. Yeah. You called it. God damn. Disemboweled. Mortal Kombat execution. Oh my god. He cut off the fucking ponytail too. A Dothraki wedding without at least three deaths is considered a dull affair. Oh my god. A small gift for the new Khaleesi. Songs and histories from the Seven Kingdoms. What are those, dragon eggs? Dragon's eggs. Oh my nearest. god. And the Shadowlands beyond a shy. Sajora, I... I don't know how to say thank you in Dothraki. There is no word for thank you in Dothraki. Hmm. Interesting. No. <laughs> no what? Is not the only word that you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's climbing again. Man's gonna be jacked. From all that climbing. I feel like he's gonna see some shit though. Ah, uh, yeah. You might be right. Could be onto something. <laughs> Who is it? Ran should not be looking at this. No. Can't tell who it is. Is that the queen? Stop. Stop. Is that the queen and her brother? He saw us. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. He saw us. He's gonna push him off. I heard you the first time. Quite the little climb, aren't you? How old are you, boy? Ten. Ten. The things I do for love. Oh my god. You're right. Is that the episode end? There? Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so? I... I don't know if Bran is dead. But goddamn, I like Bran. <laughs> so I hope he isn't dead. Let's stop that autoplay. Well, what, what do you want me to say? We got this fat hour of exposition. <laughs> but what do your notes say, brother? Uh, you want me to start from the top? Yeah. All right. I mean, first I'll, I'll say like that. I mean, I, I like this. Sh I, I, there's something in my expectations that I didn't mention at the beginning. I was expecting this show to be pretty political with from what i've heard like the different houses vying for power all that shit which we did get this episode um i never considered i guess supernatural elements being in play with the white walkers so like something evil happening in the background let's say that that's just kind of probably going to be in the background until like finale or some shit um so i didn't expect that which Honestly, it's pretty basic. I don't know why I didn't expect that. But overall, I like it. Uh, there's a lot of shit to remember. <laughs> like, I'll send you a picture of my notes Dude. after this recording. But you have no idea. Uh, Genuinely this is just a, have no idea. This is just this is just one episode. This is the our, damn tip of the iceberg, my guy. Listen, it's one episode. I have three houses I need to keep track of already. <laughs> Like, what are the three? Uh, well, we have the fucking the Starks, mm -hmm. the Lannisters, and then the Targaryens. Oh, you're missing the fourth. Was there four talked about? Are we talking about yeah. the call? Huh? Or no? Which one did I miss? The king. <sighs> Well, I have the king's name. I have, I, I just have King Robert oh, written down. I, I, don't, did, I, I don't think they dropped his last name this episode. No, they, they, did they? they did. Okay. Okay. Well, it's uh, you know, in the name of King Robert, the House Baratheon. Yeah. Okay. Well, f f well. Come on, bro. Par pardon, Come fucking on. me, bro. Three, th three for four ain't too bad. Okay. My I bad. Mean, I I guess of like the big ones, you know. Spell it. B A R A T H E O N. 
repeat it because you talk too fast. B A R A R B A R yeah A T A T E O N. I'm Robert Bart. That's all I have. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. My what bad. else you got written down, bro? Shit, bro. You putting me? You putting me? You putting me on the spot here? So. All right, bro. Uh, we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. All right. We'll start from the yeah. top. We we'll start from the top. The White Walkers with the three yes. unnamed Rangers. Yes. Guy got beheaded. At the wall. Uh, yeah. What What'd you think of that? I don't. I don't know. We got fuck. They were in like there were the dead bodies were organized. I don't know if it's supposed to mean something. All it looked like was like a circle or a ring with like a with a, like a line through it. That's all I got from it. Then boom, they have blue eyes. Um, one of them was really fucking dark. I don't know if they're supposed to be like shadow people or some shit, or if they're just supposed to be. If it was just a, dec- it was just a decayed body and the lighting was bad. <laughs> but that's just crazy. Um. No one believes that they exist because they've apparently been gone for a thousand years. Don't know what the fuck happened a thousand years ago, but they're back. And that probably means bad shit for at least Winterfell. I don't know if it's going to this. I'm calling it evil shit is going to spread to the other um, or to the rest of the land. So we got that. We, we got fucking Ned Stark, who... I, I fucking had to cross out how many fucking kids he had because he has what like five sons and two daughters is that it he has three sons and two daughters okay so okay okay and then for, for some reason John, I thought he said five sons he has okay. five five like stark children okay and then, then John John I, I like John you missed John's uh, last name that Theon called him by during the dire wolf scene Right, he said this one's yours, Snow. John Snow I've so John Snow is a name I've heard about. So I like John so far. He's interesting. Bastard Child has an uncle. Benjen? Banjin? What was it? Benjen. 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 Um Yeah. I mean I they didn't really give like a whole lot of screen time to all the kids, but so far uh, Bran Bran's cool until he got fucking dead, pushed yeah. out. Could be dead. Um, the well, uh, John's cool. Didn't really have a lot of screen time with uh, Tommy and Rob. I feel like Theon. Uh, huh? Who's Tommy? Uh, I had fucking Tommy right in my nose. Is there not one named T- Tommy? Not that I can Tommy, think of. Tommy. There's like Theon. a nickname. Is his nickname? There's... Does it? Listen, nope, they called. No they called Tommy. Him, They've called characters by different, multiple, like, different names. All right, Brand all was right, called right. Brandon. Stark Ned children. was called by a different name. Stark children. Yes. Rob. Yes. Yes. Sansa. Sansa, Arya, yeah. Brand, yes. Rickon. Or Rickard. I think it's Rickon. Rickard. Rickon. Okay, did, so. Did they say no. Rickon's name this episode? I feel like no, he, he didn't even have there. any dialogue. He, okay, so no, t- so no Tommy, Rickon. No Tommy. Then there's John. And then yeah, I got John. Theon, who is the ward of Ned Stark. Who the fuck is but Theon? He kinda, but he's, he's okay. We're just, he was we're the guy that tried kids. to kill the wolves. Yeah, we're talking about kids. He's he's like he's basically Rob's age, so he he kind of acts like Ned's kid, but he's his ward. Oh my god! So, bro, just just write it down. Okay, Look, this isn't Ward. stuff you all have. You have to learn within the first episode because you're <laughs> right. gonna see these characters repeatedly. Yeah, 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 so yeah. You're, you're gonna yeah. learn it anyway. We're just, we're just helping you. We're, we're. I got you. I got we're you. We're guiding I got you. hand on your shoulder, bro. Okay, so we're not, we're not gonna focus on the little details that you want to flame me for for not fucking picking I just, up. On. I don't know where you got Tommy from. But. I thought there was a fucking Tommy. My bad, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's that's there, the one. There's I'll no. T- for. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no, no tommy, tommy in game of thrones no tommy okay there's a joffrey there is a yeah i got joffrey's na- name so uh, i want to know here's what i want to yeah. know i want to know what you thought about viserys that is daenerys's older brother the weasel listen brother i'm trying to look <laughs> i do the, not have the, the, name the right blonde now. hair guy that keeps touching oh his okay yeah, yeah 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 okay what's his name viserys Okay, I did not... Hold up. Hold up. (laughs) 
Okay, what was what was the girl's name? Daenerys. The, Daenerys. Okay. Okay, what was the brother's name? V- Viserys. Viserys. Okay, for some reason I had who then who who <laughs> who was Ilrio? Uh that was like their the person they're living with right now. Okay. He's like the magistrate of wherever they're at, Pentos, I think. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Irrelevant. You can erase his name. All right, all right, all right, all right. So yeah. Um It's interesting. Uh the Targaryens, which if I remember correctly from both um what you kind of mentioned earlier and I remember there being fucking memes about incest from House of the Dragon. <laughs> um, the Targaryens are, were like in House of the Dragon. That was the fo- focus in House of the Dragon? Uh, yes. They okay. are the House of the Dragon. Okay. That, okay. That, okay. Okay. That's their like their emblem. The Targaryen sigil is the dragon. Okay. And then uh, Ned's is the, the, wolf, the wolf. dire wolf. Okay. All right. Then <laughs> okay, what about the Lannisters? I don't. Golden I don't. Golden Lion. I, Golden Lion. I, I'm. I'm not writing that down. But yeah. So you're asking me about the brother. This is like the, we're we're circling back around. You're asking me about yep. the brother. Yep. Okay. He's fucking weird. He's yeah. spe- he's quickly speed running to like most hated character in the show so far. He's a fucking <laughs> weirdo. Uh, who who would let a train be ran on his sister by <laughs> horses to Bro, get that is back like- into power. One of the most uncomfortable lines in the entire show. Yeah. It's like, I will let every Dothraki man, even their horses, if yeah. that's what it takes to get to the Iron Throne. I'm like, dog, that is just vile. Yeah. It, and of course, we they didn't really, it is pretty vile, but to kind of segue, we we did see the Iron Throne, the famous Game of Thrones chair. Mm-hmm. It was, They didn't give like any fucking glamorous shot of it. it was just kind of in the background in one of the scenes in the capital but it was there um that is a chair i know a uh, little little reference of that chair i'll give you a little bit of teaser shows up in elden ring so you can be excited about that when you finally mm-hmm. fucking play with me you piece of shit um okay. <laughs> uh, uh but yeah uh i guess at some point the targaryens held power but they got their asses beat uh and they're just kind of trying to scheme their way back in and then we have in, in, uh, following the line of schemers we got the lannisters who apparently killed john what's his uh, john last aaron, name john aaron. who was the king's hand right the previous king's hand yeah yep so and now which now our boy ned <laughs> is taking up that position which is gonna put him in danger uh Presumably, I'm assuming. Did, did, did he confirm that he's taken up the... Like, yes. Uh, okay. Towards, towards the end of the episode. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. When Robert was talking to him. Okay. So, yeah. A uh, lot of pieces being placed. Um, many of which are going to be moved around and my notes are going to be a fucking... My notes are already a fucking jumble mess, so... Yeah, just send us a picture and we're going to have Corey just throw it up on the screen just from episode one. <laughs> each, at the end of each episode, just have my fucking notes. <laughs> um, um. I will say, j- to like recap the important stuff. Um, yeah. I mean, I think Ro- we pretty Robert much recapped Ned, it. Yeah, yeah. Robert asked Ned to be Hand of the King. He said yes. Mm-hmm. Um, John Aaron died allegedly at the hands of the Lannisters. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Bran just got shoved out of a tower. Um, Fucked up. Sansa, like, wants to marry Joffrey. That's a big one. Uh, Robert asked yeah. Ned to join houses by marrying Sansa to Joffrey. Mm-hmm. Um, John's asking Benjen to go to the wall to take the oath, to take the black. Take the black? And... Daenerys and Viserys are scheming in Pentos. Oh, uh, Jorah Mormont. That's an important character. But uh, frankly, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know his name until like season four. So you can just learn it whenever you learn it. All right. He's the one who gave Daenerys the books. 
Mm-hmm. I see the Lord, the, the the absolute Giga Chad with the jawline of a god. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it's a lot of information for you to take in at once. Yeah, which was why a taking notes is good, but b just uh, me and Corey here to answer your basic questions is also good. Mm-hmm. We won't be answering any more than that because you also need to just get mind shat the yeah. entire time. Yeah, yeah, you all didn't answer me at the end there. That was that was the queen and her brother. Yeah, I didn't answer because you got it right. And I think it's just more fun, like, when reacting, just to let you, like, find out on your own, you know? So, so we, have two, we have two cases of weirdo, I mean, incest shit going on. Granted, the other one was, like, one-sided. Um, <laughs> this one clearly both, like... Going both ways. Both parties are consenting to this bullshit. Um, so yeah, night. Cool stuff. Is that I'm guessing that's going to be a theme, given that it's also in House of the Dragon. <laughs> uh, let's just say this show pulls no punches, my brother. I mean, yeah. like middle middle ages and all of that shit. That that shit happened. Yeah, with sure. fucking weird retroactively yep. in retrospect. I mean, I, I here's the thing: you just got to separate your own morals and just enjoy the show. Because a lot of just weird shit is going to happen and you're going to sit there and just be mad uncomfortable. Listen, and you just got to be like, it's for the plot, brother. Listen, listen. I'm, I'm still going to point it out. But ultimately, it, if we're talking about tip of the iceberg, it's not even it's a tip of the iceberg of the weird, weird shit I've seen in shows. So uh, all right, this, ain't, well, this ain't nothing. It'll get topped. It'll it's- get Hold, hold, I'll be holding my breath. Is, yeah, what's up? Um, earlier in the episode, when uh, Jamie entered the room with his brother Tyrion, and they were talking about the queen, uh, they had mentioned, mm-hmm. or Jamie had mentioned how she had like strange cravings or something, and then Tyrion said, uh, "Yes, our sister does have rather strange cravings." So mm-hmm. a lot of the dialogue in the show is really deep. If you it's referencing, if you think about it, and it doesn't just happen within one episode, it'll like go back a multitude yeah. of episodes or seasons. So you really got to pay attention to the dialogue and the way the characters interact, even the way they look at each other. Like there was a lot of foreshadowing just in this first episode based off of glances. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let me, let me let me flip the script a bit. Uh, since you haven't watched this back in how long? Twenty eighteen. Since 2018 or some shit? Yeah. Well, when did uh, season 8? I think 2019. Okay, 2019. Okay. So this being your third watch of the first episode, is there shit you missed from the previous two that you only noticed this time around? Um, there might have been... I would been... say with what you just said, Corey, that was mm-hmm. the first time that I had noticed that interaction. There is mm-hmm. very subtle, like, dialogue. Um, what What would you call it? like just subtle it's just it's, yeah it's subtle the way they shadowing the way they write it is um it's if like you if you go back and watch it again it's like oh you know those that, are what the strange cravings are she fucks her brother that's crazy <laughs> yeah um i would say there are things that i probably didn't like catch on my second watch through and there are probably things that i did catch on my second watch through that i forgot because it's been years and like I've just, you know, done a lot of things since then. A lot of information has went in and exited my brain. It doesn't stick there very well. So. Okay. I mean, I think that's fair. Another thing, huge, Peter Dinklage. I knew about Peter Dinklage. I know he was in the show. Mm-hmm. And I've seen it. When it comes to Game of Thrones, the most shit I've seen probably revolves scenes of him being in it like they are here in so i i'm i i know i already calling now i'm gonna fucking love the guy <laughs> in this show oh, yeah. the character he what was the name of the character he's playing Tyrion. Tyrion. yeah okay uh yeah so overall i think the only thing that we didn't mention is the the darth rocky but uh they seem cool they they know how to party <laughs> <laughs> Look, casual disembowelment and fucking. It's not a Dothraki wedding without at least three deaths. Yeah. 
It's considered a yeah. dull affair. Yeah. Don't know how uh Cal Drago. Is it Drogo? Cal Drogo. Cal Drogo. Um I don't know what he's about. I don't know if this like cuz overall they seem fairly minor compared to the other great houses cuz they're I don't want to say more primitive but like they're not on the same level. If you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But I could be they're uh, so, they're definitely a step back when it comes to the civilization. I'm not saying their tears. way of life is wrong. Like I'm no. not calling them savages, but like they're different. They're way less formal. Yeah. So I don't I don't know if they're gonna be a major presence in the show. Um or more so like um a stepping stone like for Daenerys' character arc because she seems important uh, especially since she got fucking gifted the dragon eggs and it's, it's fucking I mean one of the shows is called House of the Dragon and I mean I I yeah so uh, I don't know how that's gonna that whole arc is gonna play out um, so uh, it's just I, I, I can't I, I do look forward to seeing more I, I, I do like the show so far Episode one was cool. Just too much shit to keep track of. Right. I will but. say you did a very good job of paying attention and you picked up on like so much stuff that I did not my first watch through a Game of Thrones. So good job. Yeah, but I think it's di- I feel like it's different. If you're just like, I'm gonna turn this shit on and lay on like lay in bed or some shit versus I'm going in preemptively like I'm I'm fucking wired. I think when I watched this, I like binge watched the first season in one day and I really, there were so many details that were lost because of that. I mean, I feel like if, I feel, I mean, that's like you're sitting down for like eight hours watching something. I've heard many times from people that, um, they, they can't watch Game of Thrones unless they're paying attention. And that's kind of what I say to a lot of people that are going into it for the first time. I'm like, you're going to be confused. You're not Mm going to know what's going on. But it's a great YouTube show video. and you need to watch it. You do not do that. Do not do that. Close that Google tab right now. I'm, you do I, not dude, do I, that. I was, I was, I was saying that people like, oh, uh, I, uh-huh, uh-huh, I'm, uh-huh. I'm watching a recap of this first episode or something. Because I, got, do I got one of my biggest, the only spoiler I ever got for Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. I Googled a family tree. Okay. Yeah, so, I wouldn't do so that. So something as small as that can spoil the entire show for you. So don't okay. do that. Okay. Um. Yeah, I, w- I wouldn't do that. All right. Well, I think uh, there's actually one last thing. Oh, okay. So one other thing, I I have overheard of Game of Thrones, um, like through just just a t- just small talk with coworkers and shit. Uh, I've been told that this uh, there's a lot of characters in the show, which of course there are, but like. It's like, yo, know, like there's always like there, everyone's gonna have a character like they're like love to follow or like a house. They're like, I, I don't know. Like I think he was talking about, like there's gonna be like like a house, a particular house. You're like you're gonna side with throughout the shows, the, sh- the the throughout the entirety of the show or some shit. Um, I don't know how true that is, but like if I'm following that train of thought a bit, I mean, I'm so far like. Uh, unless there's evidence to push me otherwise I, mean, I, I feel like it feels like House Stark is like the main like house we're going to be following through the show like I guess our protagonist so to speak you don't want to join me but, on House Targaryen brother uh, listen if it wasn't for um fuck boy <laughs> yeah he's, he's uh, pretty bad yeah pretty sure Kojo's a Lannis bitch so okay you have you have that you have house stark yeah yeah like that's the shit on, on your wall okay all right so what i did i mean so far first impression south stark kind of seemed the way to go i mean um safe bet i am a stan so I'm yeah be biased though okay but i mean again some some shit could happen that pushes me otherwise so far i mean uh, last thing i'll say is like i said earlier 
so far. I think my... F I, I like John. I want to see where John's story go. Stories go. He's got the albino wolf. That's tough as fuck. Uh, yeah. And then I, ho I hope Bren's not dead. <laughs> All right. Well, we were supposed to watch episode two to give you a Are little bit more. Uh, I don't know. We'll, f we'll talk about it after we end this recording. All right. But All right. that is going to do it for episode one. Igly's gone full-fledged nerd in the last 25 <laughs> minutes or so of this outro. So if you guys are looking for those next batch of episodes and you don't want to wait until next week, check out our Patreon where you can get four-week early access. You can also get the full-length reactions to all of those if you want to watch along with us. That is also an option and see Igly just get <laughs> his mind thrown into a blender. Uh, we yeah. also have a Discord where you can come in and discuss all of our reactions with us. That links, All those links are down below along with links to our Instagram, Twitter, uh, TikTok. And yeah, we'll see you guys <laughs> next week for episode two. See, see you all then. Take care.